Welcome back to my channel guys. In today's video I am going to be discussing some questions that you should ask in college when you are looking for a roommate. And I am literally just going through the conversation that me and my roommate had when we were first learning about each other and thinking about if we wanted to room together. <laughs> The first one was, are you interested in joining any clubs on campus? And the one specifically that we were talking about together was the Christian club on campus. And I think that that's really important if you are a Christian to find a Christian roommate. And if you're going to the same clubs, then you're going to have a common interest and you're going to be able to spend more time together. Another thing is, what is your major? One of my friends is an RA and she says that whenever someone is the same major, they typically end up having a lot more conflict because they're seeing each other in classes a lot of the time. So finding someone that is a different major might be ideal. Another question could be, what are you looking for in a roommate? Because certain people are gonna be looking for certain things in a roommate and you wanna make sure that you know the other's expectation before you decide to be their roommate. Ask what their sleep schedule is like because personally for me, I wake up, I am a morning person for sure. I have 8 a.m.s every single day. And so I enjoy waking up early and then going to bed around like 10.30. And I'm the same way like on weekends, I like to keep a schedule throughout my weekdays and my weekends. And then my roommate, she is a night owl. So she does a lot of her work in the evening and then sleeps in a little bit in the morning and has later classes. So if you would want someone that's on the same schedule, just make sure you talk about that before you become roommates. The next one is what do you like to do for fun? This can kind of tell you the type of person that they are if they're like they like to drink, party. But if they say oh I like to go to church, I like to read my bible, I like to read, like maybe they're more relaxed. And if you have similar hobbies then you can just do things together. The next one is do you work out and what type of workouts do you do? Sometimes it can be fun to go to the gym with your roommate and seeing if they also think that health is important that might be something that's important to you do you like eating healthy so this one for me a lot of the times roommates end up going to the dining hall together and eating together eating habits are the first things to go in college because it's unlimited food if you both eat healthy then it's easier to keep each other accountable but if one person eats super junky and then the other one eats healthy sometimes that can affect your eating habits how often do you like having people over so Definitely discuss this with your roommate before you decide to be roommates because if they like to have people over the room all the time but you don't like having people over in the room or vice versa, if you want people over and they don't want you to have people over, then that can be a conversation that could create conflict. Do you smoke or drink? I think this one is really important because obviously if you are not a drinker, maybe don't room with someone that drinks. Do you like sleeping in pitch black or with a TV or light on? So personally for me, I would not be able to sleep if there was like a TV or a bunch of lights on. I like sleeping in the pitch black and so that is very very helpful. It helps me so that my sleeping is regular and then I'm not waking up in the middle of the night. Do you use a fan when you sleep? Some people don't like any noise when they're sleeping and some people do. I would ask what temperature they like to keep the room at because that's also important. If there's someone that likes it at like 50 degrees and then you like it in the 70s, that obviously could be conflicting. The next one is do you like taking naps? So personally for me I do not take naps and my roommate doesn't really either but if she did take naps all the time I like it might be a little bit difficult coming in and out of the room especially if you're someone that likes to study in the room having your roommate sleeping all the time might be difficult the next one is where are you from sometimes asking where a person is from can give you a little bit more information about their culture or also just what they like to do in their area and also if you're close by you may be able to meet up and actually hang out before you decide do you plan on going home a lot or staying at the dorms most weekends? This is important because if you like a lot of alone time or if you want friends to come up on the weekend, it would be ideal if they went home on the weekend. But if you're someone that really wants your roommate to enjoy the weekends with you, then maybe you would want a roommate that is at school during the weekend. The next question is, do you like to study in your room or in the library? And so this is important because if you both like to study in the room, then that could be conflicting or it could also be a distraction. So if you guys are both studying in the room, you could potentially be causing each other to distract each other. Next one is, do you have any pet peeves? This is important to ask because if you do something regularly that is one of the other person's pet peeves, 
it might not be a good rooming situation. The next question is, are they a good student and did they get good grades when they were in high school? This is important just to ask to see what their study habits are like and maybe if you're a really good studier, it would be easier for you guys to study together, but if not, then maybe that won't be a smart idea. The next one is, are you more of a homebody or do you like to go out a lot? This is important to know if they'll be in the room a lot on weekends or if they like to go out with their friends a lot. It's also important to ask if they have any siblings or if they've ever shared a room with anyone before to see if they're comfortable with sharing a room with someone. Personally, I was an only child, so I never had to share a room with anyone. And so I didn't really know what it was going to be like, but if they had a sibling that they shared a room with, it might come more naturally to them. And it can just show you like the dynamic of how they like to live. It's important to ask if they are potentially talking with anyone else about being a roommate because that kind of gives you an idea of am I the only one that they're talking to? Are they potentially going to choose someone else to be a roommate? It's also important to ask if they think that you guys would be good roommates. If they don't think that you are going to be a good roommate, then you probably won't be. But if they say, yeah, I think so, that we would be a good roommate, then maybe consider that. And last but not least, this one kind of goes with the other ones that I had talked about before, but that is what time do you usually wake up? Because personally for me I love just being on a schedule and waking up every day at the same time but maybe other people are not like that if you understand what time they're waking up then it might just be easier to be on a schedule together and also if you wake up at like 6 a.m. and you're doing a lot of things in the room and your roommate doesn't wake up until 10 a.m. and they're like a light sleeper and are easily woken up then maybe that's not a good pair and that is all that I have for you guys I hope this is helpful and I hope that you guys are doing well in your roommate searches. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.